We have another question about essays. So if we have any tips on essay ideas and how to be unique and stand out. And I guess that's a little bit sort of before um, writing. Did any of you um, kind of change the theme or any takeaways in your essays that, uh, or change the tone at all? Uh, so maybe that's the way to answer this question of um, last minute wise. Uh, yeah, did any of you um, do that? So I'll just actually just start with Rachel. Ooh, that's a, that's a really good question. Um, so from my early action application to my late round, the blanket personal statement, I didn't really change that much. Um, but I kind of, I mean, my focus at that point, as I mentioned earlier, was kind of on the school specific ones, which I didn't recycle. So, um, if you are facing a situation where, um, like say for example, you applied early, or like I think this coming from someone who has already gotten feedback from an early application, they're thinking about changing it, um, making that assumption. If you went with an angle and were rejected, I think I would caution you from just saying that the essay isn't any good and scrapping it completely. <laughs> and I think, First, it might be an indicator that that school wasn't for you and that um, other schools are, they gauge essays completely differently um, just because one school, that wasn't what they were looking for. It's not to say that another isn't. So I think it's really reevaluating your goals, who you are as a student, with your fit for the school. Um, and not to say, like, don't try and tailor yourself for the school necessarily, just make sure that you're finding the right match for you. So don't assume that your essay is not good because of a rejection or a deferral. I think that's a really good point. And it also, um, it also plays into time management uh, because you don't really necessarily have the time to completely change your essay. So um, yes, keep that in mind and uh, go to, <coughs> There we go. Yeah. Um, I definitely think in terms of essay ideas, um, it's a good place to start would be just looking at the general um, theme of your application. So what I did to brainstorm essay ideas for the universities I applied to is um, I took a good look at my extracurriculars and I kind of tried to merge them all under a common umbrella of sorts. Um, I did Model UN. Um, I did a lot of public speaking. So I decided personally the main theme of most of my essays and their prompts should be with regards to communication and um, my love of communication and my love of learning languages um, and just speaking in general. So um, I definitely think that having your essays relate to your interests and your passions, it really just they shouldn't be all, again, that's not to say they should be all about um, exactly whatever you've listed, but if your essays can build off of your interests and if they can um, incorporate parts of your personality that would really stand out to the um, admissions officers, um, I think that's a good place to start. I think it's a good place to start thinking about um, how a lot of your essay prompts can come together under like a, under a common theme and how you can how, how you can um, make your application seem more um, focused around you as a person um, I'm just gonna add here really quickly that um, I also agree with that uh, I really like the idea of thinking about the umbrella and unifying all of your activities um, one of the things that um, can make an applicant seem not that competitive is if they have a very scattered application um, and it seems that you don't really have a particular area of focus and um, there isn't a particular passion. And so this could be a good time for you if you, um, you know, either were deferred or you were denied um, in your early school to consider maybe there's a way for me to unify everything a little bit more 
perhaps in the essay incorporate um, a little bit more of uh, this theme that would tie everything together. But uh, Michael. Yeah, so um, I would also say, I guess, uh, adding on to the idea of like, don't necessarily change your essays, uh, especially for the folks who are applying to like extremely sort of ridiculously selective colleges. Um, remember that like at some level it becomes a little bit arbitrary, right? So when they say that, and I don't mean for this to be disheartening really, but but a lot of these schools at the at the most selective levels, it really is ridiculous, right? They have this this task of selecting approximately uh, you know a very small percentage and at some level like there there's a lot of people who are very qualified or very good and you it's it's not necessarily like your application was bad but that for whatever reason when they made up the entire class that they were looking at you know it, it becomes a little bit arbitrary right so don't like that that's that in other words it becomes sort of noisy right so you can't look at the noise and say here's a signal that tells me that I have to do X, Y, or Z. It's just one data point and, it, and it's terrible because that happens to be you. But uh, you have to look at it in that bigger picture. So that said, I, I do think that if you're going to be revising your essay, definitely think about your, I guess, the identity that you're putting forth and the kind of uh, the theme that you're putting forth in your application is very important if you haven't done so already. Um, if you think that you've kind of developed, you have a well-formed identity or theme in your application already, then it might be a good opportunity to um, ask someone you've never spoken to about your essays uh, that perhaps knows you well or perhaps doesn't know you well, maybe both, and say, you know, um, get their feedback and then you can say like, okay, here's the here's what I was trying to present, and then see if there's an incongruity there. And if there is, then maybe you can look at how you can can kind of mesh those together. Um, for new essay ideas, I think in terms of time management, this is just especially if you're applying to a lot of schools um, at this time, it's not worth your time. Your time is far better spent. Uh, at least when I say new essay ideas, I mean in terms of like uh, a new personal statement, a new uh, you know, whatever s sort of similar idea. Um, your your time is better spent on the school specific essays because those th that's almost a brute force kind of thing, and that you can just spend time and research and figure out something really specific that that if you were on campus, you know, if you if I for example, right, like like I go to Columbia, so if I when I came to campus, the first thing I was thinking of here's here are my interests. How can I make use of the university resources now that I'm here to do whatever I want to do, right? So you put yourself in that position and, and imagine if I, if I was admitted, what resources would I be using and why? And why do I find fulfillment in that? Um, something like that. So I think that that kind of, that kind of research is, is much better use of your time. I think uh, Michael is um, on the money about just really putting more of your time and effort into the school specific essays, the why us, because that's really how um, you're going to be able to differentiate yourself and show why that school is a good fit. Um, one of the uh, things I want to share um, is our blog actually has a tag called fun facts. So um, if you aside from obviously the research that you do about the academic programs. Um, if you want to mention uh, sort of student body fit or culture, um, it might help you to check out um, our fun facts blog posts because we have, um, it's like 10 fun facts for a bunch of schools and you can actually see what sort of student traditions are. Um, let me just quickly see if I can screen share that. And I think I did it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's on our blog, and you can just search fun facts. And so we have a number of different schools uh, that could potentially help you get a sense of what you can uh, emphasize, especially when it comes to sort of 
social um, aspects of the school or different student organizations that might make it um, more unique. All right, we're going to come back to Marissa. Uh, sorry. I... No. Okay, there you <laughs> go. Okay. All right, um, so for my, I know for my Common App, most of you are probably, if you're a senior, you're probably done with um, the Common App essay, but all those in there. Um, I originally was going to write about a service trip I did um, between my sophomore and junior year, um, and I started writing it, I did the essay, and then I heard from everybody, don't do a service trip essay, that's the most basic, over-the-top thing. And I, um, I heard from, I had my English teacher actually passed out two service trip essays and he said, these are the ones that work if you, you just have to write about it. It's the way you write about it that matters. Like if you're writing about like a really specific moment that's like really unique to you, then you can make it work. But it's still generally, we, um, most people usually suggest that you avoid it because it's very hard to make it stand out and it looks like it's just like a, um, you know, a blanket kind of. Um, works for anything. Um, so I switched from that to writing about um, my Starbucks order, which was kind of strange and quirky. Um, and I like that I actually came up with the idea because I did a workshop during um, the summer before my senior year. And we had an exercise where the facilitator just asked us a bunch of questions like, what was your earliest memory? It was one of them. Um, what's an experience that changed you? What, and one of them was like, what's your favorite drink? And I <laughs> wrote down my um, Starbucks order. Um, and it had, I really wish I had um, the questions available, but I bet you could Google it and find it. And I just, we wrote down all those answers and they said, circle like three that you think you can make an essay out of. Um, and so that's how I kind of came to it. So going off of that, I would think, even if you don't find the questions online, just like coming up with, things that are important to you and writing them down and seeing how you could fit like this i think the more specific the better um like the more that it relates to you and like is something that really um is like intimate with like you like your personality um that's ideal um as far as the school specific essays i would say my only advice to add on is the i think where i add a couple essays i started out but, uh, like, I like this school because, and, like, that's your first sentence. That is not going to make you stand out <laughs> um, at all. It's really hard to, you know, you want to make it, there's still room to make it quirky and different, unique in there. And I think it's cool to take advantage of it um, to be, I mean, obviously you have character limits. It, it's kind of harder to do it with when you only have 100 characters. But if you can avoid just that basic structure it just makes your application i think sound a little less mundane because you know there's people these admissions officers are going through thousands upon thousands of applications and when they see that for the hundredth time i can imagine they're probably not too <laughs> not, too, not too interested so that's my tips um i think uh marissa kind of touched on this briefly but something you can do is really with the character limits, at least um, revising your essays now, try to make it as concise as possible. Like this is your time to really make sure, and I always say this, every single sentence in your essay is a statement and it there's a reason for it being in there. Um, if it can be taken out, take it out. Like uh, especially if you're running up against um, like a character limit and you want to add a little bit more, um, this is the time to really make that adjustment. Uh, 